the way from Portland, Oregon. Please make welcome Tony Furtado. Oh, thank you, thank you. No, 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 stop, stop. Oh, yeah, bring it on. No, no, stop. I guess we've got a, uh, we've got an audience in here. Right, folks? Hello? <laughs> Hi, you guys. It's been a while. Um, I want to make... Let's see if that hurt anything. I thought I put it on here. This is so unpro of me. Hold on, folks. Let me uh, make sure I have done this correctly because that should not have happened. Okay, I've got it on airplane mode. That's funny, huh? Okay. I used to have this down so well and now it's gonna do all kinds of wacky stuff. Let's try that again. Hello. <laughs> now everyone tell me if you're seeing everything okay. I'm gonna go to the, the streaming chat room thing. I'm a little out of practice. Hey Tina, how you doing? It's good to see you. Hey Ed, good to see you out there. Susan, John. If you guys have anything in particular you would like to hear, just let me know. I've not got an agenda except to maybe talk and connect because I have not played a gig for a few weeks. I'm a little bit rusty. I've been sculpting a bunch. I'll tell you more about that later. Um, would be great to get a couple of uh, requests though, but I'll just start off with something easy breezy. Got an assistant in the room too, if you couldn't tell by the way. Let's hear it. Liam, Jacob, Furtado running the audience, basically. Something deep and soulful. Alright, John. How you doing, John Miller? Uh glad I found the stream. Hey, good. Yeah, and if um if you got any friends that might be into this for the next hour. Please pass the link on, so uh, the more the merrier. It's running on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, so. I've been down to Memphis, Tennessee. 
Tina for doing that. I appreciate it. Hey mom, good to see you in here. Oh wait, if I had a boat. Oh, uh, you know, I don't sing it. I keep saying I'm going to learn to sing that one. I had I had Ben Demarath sing that on my, my old album from way back when. Um, hit that like button. Oh, right on. Thanks, Dead Ed. Um, <laughs> any requests? Hit me with some requests. Good job, Liam. You got some good jobs. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing, hey Lauren, looking forward to seeing you at Pagosa in June. Haven't heard 13 for a while, that'd be a good one to do. Um, by the way, I'm doing the Pagosa Folk and Bluegrass Festival coming up at the beginning of June. 
And the fun thing about that is, well, first of all, it's the Pagosa Folk and Bluegrass. That's fun. But I'm going to be playing with a bunch of old friends of mine that used to be in my band at different times. Uh, Matt Flinner, we used to be in a band called Sugar Beat Together, killer mandolin player. Uh, Eric Turin, bass player. Played with him many, many, many gigs, as well as Ross Martin on guitar. So that's going to be a fun little tour of four gigs. If you want to know where we're playing in Colorado, just go to my website and you'll see that. So. Maybe I'll grab the banjo right now, since I do have a new-ish banjo album. I might as well do something from that, right? What do you think, Liam? Do you guys want to hear some banjo? Ah. <laughs> Technical difficulties. How about some banjo music? All right. I'll do, uh, I'll do a couple of words, a couple of tunes here, or let's see what happens. I know that I'll do Moon Shoes, which is one of the new songs. One of the harder ones for me to do. You know what I'm going to need you to do, Liam? I'm going to need you to get my computer cable to plug it into the wall. This is, I'm so out of practice. Otherwise, we're going to lose the stream. Yeah, it's, it's in the back. In fact, bring me the backpack. Thank you. It's here somewhere. Oh, here it is. So, here, let me hand that to you. So glad to have an assistant tonight. Can you plug this into... Where do we got room? Behind me? You see over there? Can you put it over there? Yeah, go behind me. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, you might not need to. Oh, don't unplug that. No, this is for the light. Oh, okay. Good idea. There you go. I'm going to turn and plug this in. All right, folks. If this show gets too slick for you, you let us know, all right? Blind Willie Johnson. Okay, I can do that. John, you got it. We'll start with uh, a banjo tune. We'll do Moon Shoes. Maybe I'll just stick with Moon Shoes. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do something else to start it off. Like ease into it. I'll do something kind of bluesy.
So those are two tunes uh, that I wrote recently. The first one's called Icebound, um, written and recorded during the pandemic, kind of felt icebound a little bit. Uh, followed that with a tune of mine also called Moon Shoes, and those can both be found on my newest album, which is called Decembering. It's an all banjo album. I mean, there's other players on it too. Uh, in fact, that tune in particular has about 20 people playing on it, kind of builds up into this nice crescendo of players and drops down, builds up, it's like a roller coaster. Um, so let me check in here. Okay, yes, Ghost of Blind Willie Johnson, I will get that. And then maybe follow that with uh, 13 Below. Um, I would like to mention something here real quick too. Um, this weekend, I'm going to give a little plug here for my wife, Stephanie Schneiderman, who's got a big show coming up here in Portland. Anyone who's near Portland should come to this show, because it's going to be killer. Let me see if i got a little visual here. Here it is, Steph's show. Did it come on? Oh. Oh, I know what I need to do. Um, uh, order. Boy, I am just not on my game with this stuff, am I? Move to top. There it is. Okay. So this Friday, May 6th at 8 p.m., uh, Stephanie Schneiderman with full band and strings, and those strings are some of the members of Organ Symphony, uh, as well as a full band, uh, killer players, Jai Tanzer on drums, and Keith Brush on bass, and I'm going to be playing some uh, various instruments, backing her up. And uh, the opening band is uh, the band that Jai Tanzer, the drummer, is in, uh, indie rock band Killer. Just wonderful songs and um, music uh, called Swansea. So come on down for that. That is on Friday, May 6th. Get your tickets. Looking forward to that here in Portland. Um, so let me grab this guitar. Let me know if you guys got any questions too. I could tell that this thing is lagging a bit too. I'm just, I am sucking on all counts on this. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey Debbie, you'll be there. Great, good to know. Hey Lisa, how you doing? Tony, come to the show on Friday, okay? The show now has a roadie. <laughs> yes, Cormac. And he's sitting there, ready to do the applause again. You know what, I'll do 13 Below first, and then I'll go into The Ghost of Blind Willie Johnson. 13 Below is a song that uh, I wrote um, after hearing the story of the Sago mine disaster, I don't know if you guys remember that, years ago now, um, over in West Virginia, 13 coal miners went down into a, um, a coal mine, and uh, I'm not sure what happened, if it was a lightning strike or something that uh, sparked a flame and created, created a cave-in. 13 of these guys were trapped and uh, 12 of them perished. The way I saw it, the 13th guy survived. It's called 13 Below. Shadows rolling cold into the 
Beaching hills hold the only jobs around. Lightning, battled bones and shattered stone. When the air cleared, there were thirteen left alone. Thirteen, thirteen down a West Virginia hall. Thirteen was a lucky man. Twelve lost for love. Sinner's prayer, trembling hands, bending letters of farewell. Hours, one by one, twelve souls to sleep. Endless day, only one whose heart still be. A distant word from rescue crews, families back gathered, so hungry for good news. Waiting, wringing hands in hopes in vain Then the company, spilling words like burning rain Liam Jacob Furtado for handling the applause track. <laughs> See you, buddy. <laughs> um, 
All right, so that was 13 Below and uh, The Ghost of Blind Willie Johnson um, <laughs> and Liam in the wings there. Give a kid something to do. <laughs> Any other requests? How we doing? Crazy bolinas anytime. Hey, I could do that. Yeah, thanks, Ed. Do I have the two Edwards on here? Um, Stagger Lee, ooh, that could be fun too. All right, yeah, keep them coming. Good job, Liam. Sundin. Ooh, Sundin. That would be fun. I don't know if I can remember that one. Ghost of Blind Willie got that. Yep, okay, good. We're doing good so far, I think. Um, you know, I was going to talk for a second, too, because uh, I've been uh, in the studio focusing on on a particular um, grouping of sculptures that I'm hoping to show sometime soon in the near-ish future. There was a, a show I was supposed to have at a really wonderful uh, place in Hood River, but uh, I guess they changed things around there and had to cancel the show. So I'm figuring out where to have the showing of these whales I've been making, but here's a couple pictures of them. Um, here's one that I just recently finished. You can tell I've, I put a, um, a uh, uh, light inside to kind of just really make it pop, make it look like there's, um, there's, uh, I don't know, an explosion happening. And the whale is just kind of coming apart. And then this other one that I finished recently, uh, let's see if I can get that one over here. <laughs> two whales. Those are the two newest whales. Um, they're about four feet long and they're wall hanging. And uh, there's about six others. I just started another one today. Um, hoping to have about 10 or 12 of them for the show. And uh, probably going to call the show The Whale in the Room. So that's it. Just want to tell you. Get these guys off the screen. There we go. Um, now where are we at with the... Uh, how tall is it? The whale? Yeah, four feet. <laughs> The one with the light, yes. How long is the sculpture? Okay, yeah, four feet long and about two feet wide and about a foot deep. So, they hang very well. <laughs> Man of Cusses Sorrow. Ooh, I love that song. I had Tim O'Brien sing that on one of my old albums, but I never learned to sing that one. I don't know. He did it so well, I just didn't want to bother. <laughs> um, where were we? Let me see. We got Bolinas. That can definitely happen. Um, I won't do that yet. I want to do a pretty song first because I need to practice this one. This is. Uh... I think I'm in the right key. Let me make sure. Yep. This is the uh, cello banjo. I usually pick this up when I want to do a really, either a very angry song or a very pretty song. And this one is a pretty song. And it's, um, it's kind of uh, me going back to my happy place with uh, one of my happy places in my, my mind of walks with the dog and my dad and my brother when I was a really little kid in the uh, at hill in the hills that surround Pleasanton, California. I wrote this uh, shortly after he had passed. So. It's called the Tall Grass. Deep in the willow 
you say Maybe we won't make it home tonight Progress calls And I am here alone Fields have vanished The blackbird is silent before uh, Matt Flinner, Eric Tareem, and Ross Martin. And we're doing, I know that we're playing in Denver and in a town called Rifle and a town uh, called Salida and finishing up at the Pagosa Springs Folk and Bluegrass Festival. <laughs> There's going to be some shows around Oregon. And I go down into California for a couple of things. August, I'm looking forward to playing the Edmonton Folk Festival. Woo! <laughs>
Yes, get your tickets now. I know that they're on sale now. I, I like playing that place. Debbie, you want to hear Peggyo? I could do that for you. Um, John Miller, Song for Early. I love doing Song for Early. Um, hmm. But do I remember it? That's the question. I wonder if I could somehow combine it with Peggyo. That'd be interesting. That's what this show is about. 
trying different things in front of a bunch of people. Things I haven't ever tried before. <laughs> and warmed up for next time though. They do it in the right tuning and key and everything too. So thanks for requesting that John. Not gonna happen. How about Peggy? I'll do Peggy O for Debbie. For Debbie O. Mama thing, you heard my guineas clean. 
Saw me marching at the head of my soldiers old. If ever I return, pretty baggy old. If ever I return, pretty baggy old. If ever I return, you'll see I will burn and destroy all the people in the area. songs that would be fun too um john will i be in nashville this summer uh no plans to not yet no nothing in the uh that region yet um maybe later this year we'll see i don't know exactly what's happening come fall um any questions any uh last uh, requests <laughs> last request that's an ominous um, I'll do a couple more. St. Louis for a while. I sure like playing St. Louis, but it has been a while. That will probably come in the same tour that I hit in Nashville, whenever that is. So keep your eyes peeled. John Hartford tune. I don't have one. A new tune. I could do a new-ish one. been doing this one I probably do it every stream but uh, I send this one out to my mom who I think is watching right now oh. 
This one is called I Haven't Lost You, and um, this, along with about 20 other songs, are in contention for my next album that I'm going to start recording, hopefully not in the not-too-distant future. Got to make the stars align for that to happen. But I wrote this um, basically hearing uh, what my mom goes through and has gone through ever since Pop past. She still feels his presence and sees him in her dreams and so it's like he's still there. So this is called I Haven't Lost You.
Sound good. That was fun. Um, any other requests here? Let's see how we're doing here. This sure has been fun. Reconnecting. I'm not sure when the next stream is. It. Um, just kind of going by the seat of my pants here. Um, all of month. I'm gonna. All of the May. The <laughs> all of the month of May. I'm planning on doing a fair bit of sculpting and maybe some practicing and uh, finishing writing some songs. I do want to do a slide guitar album too, so I've got to start writing some of those tunes. So, see what happens with that. In the meantime, remember that, uh, I mentioned, as I mentioned before, this Friday uh, is that show at the Alberta Rose Theater. Um, here, I'm going to find that thing again. Stephanie Schneiderman's show here. It's going to be such a blast. Looking so forward to it. Is Where is it? Where is the thing? Well, no, that's not it. Here it is. No, that's not it. Is this it? There it is. May 6th, 8 p.m. You got strings, full band. I'm going to be playing in the full band with Steph. And um, indie rockers, Swansea will open the show gonna be a blast go get your tickets I think there's even a few VIP tickets left too um, just go to Stephanie's webpage and uh, you can deal with getting tickets there and all that stuff so looking forward to that come on out say hey to us um, and then I th think if I do this that will go away God, I'm such a pro at this just kidding <laughs> And if you enjoyed the show, here's the little old tip jar. I think it's here somewhere. Um, where is it? Boy, I've got to get my shirt together here. Um, put this. Move to top. There it is. So, if you feel tipsy at all. So, um, what have we got here? What am I going to finish with? Um, should it be on the cello banjo, maybe? Where is the cello banjo? Someone requested Broken Bell. I could maybe do a little combo thing here with Broken Bell and something else. Stark Raven, oh, that would be fun. Wow. John Miller, you are a guitar player or lover. Um, put this in the right key. I hit that note very confidently, like I know, know how to play piano. Not me. I need Liam's assistance. Yes, I do. Liam is becoming quite the piano player with Steph's instruction. He's been working on Moonlight Sonata. Sounds so good. Let me check one more time on that. Wait, that's a D. That's a C. I am flat. which is on my new Decembering album. I, I can say new for this whole year, I think. I think I'm allowed to. Um, it's, uh, it's just a pretty banjo tune that is somewhat schizophrenic. It thinks, thinks it's one thing. It can be, it's a many layered thing. I think. I think that wasn't a PC of me to call it schizophrenic, so let's call it something else. It's faceted. So we'll start with Green Heart and then I'll go into Broken Bell. And this will be it. I really uh, appreciate you guys popping in and letting me play some songs for you. So I think maybe the next one I'll do is going to be with Luke. Um, maybe from the backyard. We'll figure that out sometime in, in May. Thank you. 
Thanks, you guys. Really appreciate it. Um, I will see you next time. Stay in touch, okay? And I will do the same.